So you're studying for your D1, your D2, your T1, your T2, you're in the state of California. I'm here to help you. This is a common question that uh, you'll see, and not so much that this question exactly is common, but how I solve it is a common practice. And the, the numbers and the conversions are something you really need to, to get down now. And it'll help you on your test a lot if you have this process memorized. Not even memorized, just practice. Like, it comes easy to you. It's, I know it saved my life on this test. I just took it, like, two weeks ago. So, <laughs> trust me. Um, so, how many gallons of hypochlorite, 5% available chlorine, have to be added to 200 gallons of water to produce a chlorine solution of 150 milligrams per liter? So let me try to show what's going on here. You have 200 gallons of water. You have 200 gallons of water, and you need to apply X amount of chlorine. Well, not chlorine, hypochlorite. You have to apply X amount of hypochlorite to this 200 gallons to give you a solution of 150 milligrams per liter and what's different why it's hypochlorite and not strictly chlorine is because in hi this hypochlorite specifically that you'll see these quotes after the word hypochlorite sometimes it'll be eight sometimes it'll be seven uh, I don't even know it's just all sorts of different ones but so in this one specifically this hypochlorite solution is only five percent chlorine so whatever you figure out your answer to be, you got to figure out what is 5% of that? What do you have to multiply by 5% to get that answer? Because you, what you solve will only be that little bit of chlorine that is the percentage of that solution. So this is what we got. This is 5%. So 0.05. That there going into 200 gallons, and you needed to create 150 milligrams per liter of chlorine. And so, the, they want to know gallons how many gallons? And this is good on the test because you'll, you'll have A, B, C, D, and you'll see all the suffixes are going to be gallons, so you know. That your endpoint needs to be gallons, and if you know your endpoint, then you know what you what you got to convert to. So we have gallons here, but we need to convert this 150 milligrams per liter to something we know, because that that's really this this is creating this, and so this is the known that we need to get to something that's a little more graspable to give us the answer, which is in gallons. So we have milligrams right now, which is the measurement of weight. So let's try to convert that to pounds, because once we get it to pounds, we know that there's 8.34 pounds per gallon, and then we can take it to gallons, and then we'll be able to answer this, this problem. So you have 150 milligrams per liter. Let's get rid of this liter. So multiply 3.785 liters over um, per gallon. <laughs> so, so you you this is converting, right? You you're putting three point seven point eight five liters per gallon, so that you can get rid of this liter, because you want to get rid of that, and you want to be left with as close as you can to just pounds. But you're going to end up with pounds per million gallons, and you'll see now. And then you want to get rid of this milligrams. But to do that, first you have to convert it to kilograms. So per kilogram. There is one million, this is a way of writing one million without filling up a whole whiteboard with zeros, milligrams. And to convert kilograms to pounds, there's 2.205 pounds per kilogram. <clears throat> and so you lay it all out like that, right? And look at the funness that happens here. There go your milligrams. There go your liters, there go your kilograms, and you're left with no, you're left with pounds per million gallons. And so when you multiply all that, 
you end up with 1,251 points. I believe 8989 eight, pounds per million gallons. And so, how does this help us here? It doesn't really help us yet because it's million gallons, right? We only need 200. So let's bring it down to Earth and how, what, what's the percentage of a million that 200 is? It is 0 0.0002. And I'll tell you why I know that. Because in the number a million, whatever number you're given and you want to convert it to, you want to know what the percentage of a million is, you basically just point, you put the decimal here. And then... Well, so if it so if it's two million three hundred thousand, and you want to know what it is in percentage wise, then it'd be two point two point three. Cool. If it's just three hundred thousand, then it's point three over to zero. So this is two hundred. So it's point zero 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 two. So when you multiply that by 0 0.0002, you get 0.25 lbs, pounds. That's what, that's what we need to put in this 200 gallons of water. That's how much chlorine we need to put in this 200 gallons of water to give us 150 milligrams per liter. And we found that with this beautiful little conversion right here. Make sure you know this conversion. It'll really save your butt on the test. And it's not so much that you have to know that whole tree from beginning to end. You just have to know how to convert liters to gallons and milligrams to kilograms and kilograms to pounds. If you memorize what the conversion is from kilograms to pounds, you're good. If you memorize what the conversion is of liters to gallons, you're good. You don't have to memorize the exact order because if that order changed in that equation and you still got to the end there of pounds one way or another, you're good. And that's what you, you need to know, and it'll help you on the test. <clears throat> um, so we know we need 0.25 pounds, but our solution is only 5% chlorine. So 5% of what X is 0.25 pounds? So let's get that 0 0.05 over there and figure this out. Divide by 0 .05. So I don't know if you guys remember that from school, but when you have an X on one side and you need to solve for X, you throw it under to the other side and that's solved. So 0.25 over 0 0.05, X equals 5. 5 pounds. Okay, so we know our answer in, in pounds. <clears throat> it takes 5 pounds of our hypochlorite solution to give us 150 milligrams per liter. But we don't need pounds, we need gallons. So how do we convert pounds to gallons? How many pounds are in a gallon? 8.34. So multiply it by 8.34 pounds under, sorry I said that backwards, but under a gallon. My mind works in weird ways sometimes. But so basically you just divide 8.34 by five. That just you know makes it simple so you can see the pounds are canceling out to give you a gallon. And when you divide 8.34 by 5, you are left with 0.6 gallons. And that is the answer to this beautiful question. Nice try. Thanks for watching. Try to hit the camera. Why? Because <laughs> it'd be cool. That's a spot. Oh, I got to stop.